Welcome to the Sprite Cup Series Season 5. We're live at the famed Indianapolis Motor Speedway for the Brickyard 400. Last week, we were on the road course. This week, we're on the oval. It's a beautiful day for racing. Let's take a look at your drivers to watch for. Kevin Harvick starts on pole for today's race. He has not had that good of a season so far. His only top 5, only top 10, only win came at the Daytona 500 in race 1. And he's had poor finishes since then. He's had two consecutive 11th place finishes in the last two races. Finishing just shy of the top 10. He starts on pole today. And he hopes to turn his luck around. Starting on the outside pole is Chase Elliott. He's hoping for a good run today. And hopefully a win. Another Chase, Chase Briscoe, starts third. He's hoping for a good run today as he needs some valuable points. Eric Almirola starts fourth. Three Stuart Haas Three Stuart Haas drivers qualified in the top five. Good day, good weekend for Stuart Haas. Let's see if they can capitalize. Kyle Busch is the current points leader coming into today. He has just five points separating him from Kyle Larson. Austin Sindrick won last week on the road course and starts 24th today. Let's see what he can do. Starting dead last is Kyle Larson. Second in the points. Both he and Kyle Busch start deep in the field. Both of them are going to want to make their way through a lot of cars if they want to uh, come out of come out of this race with the points lead. Now let's go trackside for the command. Drivers, start your engines! Cars fired up and roll off for 12 laps around the brickyard. Now let's look at your starting lineup. On the pole is Kevin Harvick, and to his outside is Chase Elliott. Behind them, it's Stuart Haas teammates, Chase Briscoe and Eric Amarola. Inside, row three, Bubba Wallace, and Ross Chastain is to his outside. Behind them, it's Austin Dillon with his best qualifying effort so far this season, and Alex Bowman to his outside. And we have Ryan Blaney and Daniel Suarez. Behind them, it's rookie Ty Gibbs and Harrison Burton. Behind them is the Legacy Motor Club teammates with Eric Jones and rookie Noah Gragson. And we have Joey Logano and Kenny Hamlin. Behind them is the RFK teammates, Chris Busher and Brad Kozlowski. And we have current points leader Kyle Busch and rookie Ryan Priest. Behind them, Martin Truex Jr. and William Byron. And we have Christopher Bell and Austin Sindrick. And running out the field, it is Kyle Larson. We're ready to go green here at the Brickyard. Face guard pulls off. Green flag is out in the air. Elliott dives to the inside to try to take the lead away from Kevin Harvick. Kevin Harvick gets the run off the high side and is able to maintain the lead. Here comes Elliott to try the outside again. Can't quite get there. Amarillo to the inside of Chase Elliott will take second away. Now he'll try to work on taking the lead from Kevin Harvick. There he goes to the inside. Can't quite make the pass. Here comes to the outside. And he clears Kevin Harvick. Amarillo the new leader. But here comes Kevin Harvick back down the inside. He takes the lead back from Eric Amarillo. As now Chase Briscoe has taken th that third spot away from Chase Elliott. Oh! Around goes Bubba Wallace. Caution is out. The 23 of Bubba Wallace spinning in turn two. 
doesn't look like he hit anything, he'll be able to continue. Let's take a look at what happened. Blaney was to his outside, and he just looks like he just spun out all by himself. Blaney going around his outside must have taken the air off the spoiler, sent him spinning. That's the most likely cause of uh, Bubba Wallace's spin. There he is on pit road. He'll get four fresh good years. It's a tough break for him. He'll restart in the back. We're ready to restart on lap six out of 12. Here at the Brickyard, Kevin Harvick will be your leader for this next restart. Green flag is back out. From SHR top, top three, Harvick, Almirola, and Briscoe. Here comes Chase Briscoe to the inside of Eric, Eric Almirola. will take second away from him. Now he'll work on trying to take the lead away from Kevin Harvick. Daniel Suarez was in third. Now he's in second. As Ross Chastain has made his way up to fourth. Oh, and around goes the 21. Into the wall. Caution is back out. The 21 of Harrison Burton. Head on into the inside wall. Let's take a look at what happened. Top right of your screen. Ty Gibbs goes to the inside of Harrison Burton. Looked like Burton tried to block. But wasn't clear. Here it is again. Yeah, Gibbs goes to, his, to the inside to try to make a pass. And Burton just blocked too late. Ends up wrecking himself. Tough break for him. He'll be out of the race. We're ready to restart with four laps to go. Here at Indy. Three SHR cars on the inside. And the Trackhouse boys are on the outside. Who will prevail on this next restart? Let's find out. Green flags back in the air. Suarez takes the lead with the foot from his teammate. Down the back, he tries to break the track. Here comes Ross Chastain to the inside. He gets loose. Both of them hard up into the wall. The track house teammates wreck each other. Going into three. And the caution is back out. The 99 of Daniel Suarez was the leader. Going into turn three. His teammate, Ross Chastain, dove down to the inside. Couldn't make it stick. Got loose. Ended up taking Suarez with him. First, let's take a look at that restart. A good push from his teammate. Sends him into the lead. And puts Chastain in second. Down the back stretch. Tries to break the draft. Then Chastain dives down to the inside. Can't make it stick. Gets loose. Collects his teammate. Really unfortunate for the track house camp. Both of their cars tore up in the same crash. It's going to be an awkward team meeting after this race. Justin Marks cannot be happy about this result. That was really aggressive from Chastain. And it's understandable. Four laps to go. Less than half of less than half of the laps are left. And he went for it. He sent it into three. And unfortunately just couldn't make it stick. And he he took the opportunity. He made the move at the cost of himself and his teammate. Tough breaks for both of them. They'll be out of the race. We're ready to restart with two laps to go.
here at the Brickyard. No one has been able to touch Kevin Harvick so far this race. He'll be the leader for this next restart. Green flag is back out. Blaney dives to the inside and takes the lead from Kevin Harvick. He clears him coming off a two. Here comes Harvick to the inside and try to take the lead back. Blaney goes around the outside and maintains the lead. White flag in the air. Joey Logano takes second away from Kevin Harvick. Can he make it to Ryan Blaney in time? Into three and four for the final time. Back around to the fourth stretch. Logano's not going to get there. Ryan Blaney wins the Brickyard 400. What an amazing final two laps here. Ryan Blaney restarted third, made the bold move to take to take Kevin Harvick and Eric Amarola three wide going into one. He took the lead from Kevin Harvick, defended it when Harvick tried to take it back, took the white flag, came back around, took the checkered flag. He's earned this win. He'll burn it down in the yard of bricks. Congratulations to Ryan Blaney for winning the Brickyard 400. Here are your final results. Ryan Blaney wins the Brickyard 400. His teammate, Joey Logano, coming in second. Great day for uh, Team Penske here. Kevin Harvick dominated the race. Has to settle for third. Eric Amarola and Alex Bowman round out the top five. Kyle Busch, Denny Hamlin, Mark Drake Sr., Kyle Larson, and Lustin Sindrick round out the top ten. Kyle Larson and Kyle Busch able to make their way to the top ten after starting at the back. Austin Sindrick started 24th, able to bring it home 10th. Chase Briscoe started third, finishes outside the top ten. A great day for SHR. Only two of their cars finish inside the, the top five. Tough day for the Trackhouse boys. Taking each other out with just four laps to go. And here are point standings after today. Kyle Busch extends his points lead by three points. Kyle Larson now eight points back. From Kyle Busch. Alex Bowman moves up to third. 25 points back. Denny Hamlin in fourth. 34 points back. With this win. Ryan Blaney moves up to sixth. And with this third place finish. Kevin Harvick moves up to seventh. Joey Logano up to 14th. Gradually making his way. Up the standings. Legacy Motor Club. Falls to 17th and 18th respectively. Or 17th and 18th. Jones and Gregson. Christopher Bell moves up to 22nd. Still not favorable. But at least he isn't last in points anymore. That title now goes to Harrison Burton. Next week, we head to Gateway. For the Enjoy Illinois 300. At 3 Eastern, 12 Pacific. I hope you enjoyed this race. This is Brandon Gomez in the booth. Signing off.